pencils down, please. Get rid of your gum now. What's going on with you, Owen? You want to fail this class? Fine, fail this class. But don't you dare drag my grandson down with you. Do you hear me? If you want to talk, I'm here. I mean that, Owen. But I can't let you spoil the barrel. Can I go? Good night, man. Where do you want to go? Come on up, come on. Get this. Grandma gave it to me. Still wants you to go there? Yep. I think I can play ball too. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. I'm gonna go check out the campus in a couple of weeks. You should come with us. Come on. Dude, it'll be so awesome. Come on! Shut up, man. Why is it you fucking pussy sometimes? Thank you. 
Where are you going, man? Are you gonna answer my question? Home. What's in the bag? Give it to me. Give it to me. Wait, you got something special in there? <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Come on, sloppy head. Big old mop. Give it to me. No. Is yours? Is yours? But this is this you? Give it back, man. Baby food. This is a baby. You the baby? Just give it back. You want it? Baby food? Back. You want it? Owen! Owen, come on! Owen! Owen, can I talk to you for a second? Owen. Jesus, what happened to you? Nothing, leave me alone. I said leave me alone. <laughs> Son, if your mother's trying to have a conversation with you, you better sit down Dale. and let's... God damn it! Stop it! Stop it. I know you were there. 
You don't know anything, man. Well, well I'm telling. I'm going to <laughs> say anything. I kill you. Swear to God, hey! I'll slit your throat. Hey! You hear Break me? it up! Break it up now! I'll kill you. Those pretty strong words, Ellen. Matt was a good kid. A real good kid. Never understood why he made some of the choices he did. What choices? A popular kid like that doesn't have to hang around with losers. Can I go? No. I've got some officers here I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Well, I don't know anything. Then I guess that's what you'll tell them. That's a pretty mean cut you've got on your head. Well, tell me how you got that. Dirt biking. I fell. Let me see your hands. Never knew anyone to fall off a bike and not scrape up their hands. Where were you last night, Owen? At a party. Where'd you get that cut from? Glass. Lie to me, Owen. I'm not. Some kid threw a bottle into the fire. I'm real sorry about Matt. I just can't believe it. God almighty, I can't believe it. Where are we going? I can't do this anymore, Owen. Your father. My what? Jesus, why do you have to make everything so goddamn difficult? Just, just let me speak for a minute. I don't know what happened last night, and Lord knows you're not gonna tell me. But that boy is dead, and I am grateful that you are here today. I, I am. I am. But, oh, and you can't stay here. Your father has agreed to take you on in Wyoming. Bye. 
I'm Everett. What's with the cages? They're for wolves. Wolves? I guess we have a lot of catching up to do, Owen. So, what did Elaine tell you? You mean Mom? She didn't tell me anything. What? What did she tell you? I heard you lost a friend. All right, here we are. This will be your bedroom here. You got a closet there for your stuff if you need it.
Hang on. Here, grab a seat. I'll get you a plate. How do you get the wolves in the cages? Shoot them with a tranquilizer gun. Least favorite part of the job. What's your favorite part? Probably being alone out there. Listening to them call back and forth to each other. I saw one today. How close were you? Mm -hmm. It was like here to the sink. He had a collar on. Where? Off the road. Which road? I, I have no idea. Here we are. Did you take a right or left out of the cabin? Left. How far did you walk? About two hours, but probably went to the woods about an hour in. Probably in Lamar Valley. I'll bet that wolf you saw was part of the Druid pack. Here's Druid Peak. Most of the packs are named after landmarks. How many packs are there? 13 now, but forming a new pack's tough business. Doesn't happen very often. Get us some water. In the early 1900s, predator eradication was the official government policy. They shot every wolf they could find. Killed the last one here in Yellowstone in 1936 and declared the country wolf free. Druids were part of the first pack we brought back. 13 animals from British Columbia, part of three family groups. Six of those animals took to the valley and stayed there. Survivors. You know, I was in the field for two years before I ever came as close to a wolf as you were today. You may think the world hadn't cut you a single break, Owen, but you're wrong. How do I find them? Who? If I want to see one again. I'll show you. Grab a pencil here. Know what a wolf track looks like? Like a dog's? Yeah, if it's smaller, it's probably a coyote or a fox. You know what wolves eat? Big game, elk, bison, deer mostly. Okay. So find the big game, look for prints. Like that. And if that's it? Well, you got to get up a lot earlier than you're used to. Best time to see them is before sunrise. I've come to know the wish list of my father. I've come to know the shipwrecks where he wished. I've come to wish aloud among the overdressed crowd. Come to witness now the sinking of the ship. Throwing pennies from the sea top next to it. And 
I've come to roam the forest past the village with a dozen lazy horses in my cart. I've come here to get high, to do more than just get by. I've come to test the timber of my heart. Oh, I've come to test the timber of my heart. And I've come to be untroubled in my seeking. And I've come to see that nothing is for naught. I've come to reach out blind, to reach forward and behind. For the more I seek, the more I'm sought. Yeah, the more I seek, the more I'm sought. And I've come to meet the sheriff and his posse To offer him the broad side of my jaw I've come here to get broke and then maybe bum a smoke We'll go drinking two towns over after all Well, we'll go drinking two towns over after all And I've come to meet the legendary takers I've only come to ask them for a lot Oh, they say I come with less Than I should rightfully possess I say the more I buy, the more I'm bought And the more I'm bought, the less I cost Hey! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look fine. Ooh. You want something for those? Come on. Come with me. I'm Jillian, by the way. I work with your dad. Must have covered some distance. Yeah, I guess. I guess you need to too. What are you looking for? Wolves. Wolves are elusive by nature. They're some of the toughest animals in the world to see. I saw one yesterday. Looked right at me. You must have a wolf soul. Your dad has a wolf soul. It's with those collars. Or radio collars. What kind of advice did ever give you about tracking? Uh, he told me to look for elk and then look for prints. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> and that's what he told me when I first got here. Everett thinks if you don't learn the hard way, you don't learn at all. <laughs> Come with me. Okay, hold that and hit that power switch. So the packs are all on different frequencies, and the individuals are on different channels. We try to collar about one to three individuals in every pack. So if you roll that dial, you can scan through the frequencies. This one? Yeah. This guy? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. You hear that? Yeah. That's it. You got the signal. That's a wolf on the move. Like, he could be up to three miles in any direction. It's a pretty big area. How do you find them? Well... That's it. So, when you pick up your first signal, you mark that point on the map. And then you hike about a mile in the opposite direction until you pick up the signal again. And then you mark that point, too. Where the two points meet, that's your wolf. Of course, by the time you get there, he'll likely be gone. Wolves travel twice as fast as humans. So really, we never know where they are. We just know where they've been. Why don't you just get one that tells you exactly where they are? Smart boy. GPS. They're too expensive. Anyway, your dad's not wrong. If you take 
one of these receivers out and get yourself in the right range and then use the skills that your dad was talking about for tracking, you'll see your wolves. Yeah. What happened to the wolf in there, the skull by your desk? Got shot by a rancher. They don't particularly like wolves. Why? They think they kill their livestock. Do they? Yeah, sometimes. A lot of other things kill livestock too, particularly disease. It's a lot easier to blame a wolf than it is a bacterial infection. Easier to blame something you can see than something you can't. That's what my mom says. What's that? Uh, she says it's easier to blame the things that are outside you than the things that are inside. Where were you guys in the picture? What picture? Uh, the picture my mom gave me. It's of the two of you on a bench somewhere. I don't remember. <laughs> Everett! I saw them hunting. It was unbelievable. They, they were chasing the elk and they were coming right out of the trees and they, they flanked them around to the left. Whoa, 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 slow down. Who'd you see? The druids. Where? In the valley. It was amazing. They were coming How many down. were there? Well, I don't know, a lot. 20? Less. So they Ten? were coming. Sure, yeah, I don't know. Were they gray or black? Uh, both. Can I just tell you the story? Sure. All right, so the elk were running and the this one group split off, and the wolf started chasing the elk group for a while, and then this one elk slowed down, and right when it did, bam, I mean, they were right there. It was How there. long did it take them? I don't know. Make an estimate. 
I don't fucking know! Come with me, I want to show you something. Fuck you. Suit yourself. Your intelligence is a gift, Owen, but your ignorance is a choice. Yep, he's here. Can you hold on just a second? Hey, Elaine, you know, he's working on something right now, and I don't want to interrupt him. Right. Yeah, he's been doing some field observation for me. Yes, he's actually very good at it. Yeah, I can have him give you a call later. Yes, absolutely. Your mom says she loves you. Thanks. These are some of my notebooks and not to take away anything from what you saw out there today, but our job as scientists isn't just to see, it's to understand, to look for patterns and behaviors and to make sense of them. Don't just watch, observe. Now we know a lot about wolves, but we still have a lot to learn. And that's true of every species on Earth. It's even true about ourselves, Owen. What did I do with those? All right, you take notes. Let me know what you learn. Remember, there's no monopoly on scientific knowledge. Anyone can make a discovery. Good luck out there.
Are you okay? Yeah, got really lost. Let me see. Hey. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I got him. Yeah, he just walked up. He's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Where is he, Jillian? He's out looking for you. Hey. Why didn't you have any kids, Jillian? I couldn't. I tried. And when we finally decided to give up, my husband decided he wanted to try with somebody else. What about Dad? Why didn't, why didn't he have kids? He has you. <laughs> Not really. He doesn't even talk to me. Well, he doesn't talk to the wolves either, but they understand each other. Oh, and your dad has been through a lot in his life. Ask him sometime. But don't make presumptions about what's going on inside other people. Well, unless you like being wrong a lot. Dress warm, these ought to fit. Remember when our songs were just like prayer, like gospel hymns that you call. Come down, come down, sweet reverence Until my simple house and rain And rain Morning, Danny. Good morning, Everett. How you doing? Good. Who's this fine fellow? Danny Scoach. This is my son, Owen. Owen? It's a good day for flying. Looking forward to it. Let's do it. Back. Right, so you put these on and then move the microphone in close to your mouth when you talk. And when you can hear me, you say copy. Okay. You know how this works. These are your wolf packs. You ready? Yeah. Can you hear me? Copy. Got. Got nothing yet. Neighbor say. Oh yeah. Pretty far south today. Look below you. How many? Nine.
Ollie's pack. I don't see him. I got him. Where? Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, good eye. No, six. Copy. That Molly's pack again? What? I'm not good. That low even tone is our mortality signal. It means either the wolf or the collar is not moving. See anything? Now, we'll send somebody in on foot. The Druids. Oh yeah. You're good. Got a good eye, kid. You're not air sick? No way. Everett, they've been calling for you. Two down at McGill's place. Two? Damn. It's already gone to the papers. Says he's going hunting this fall, whether it's legal or not. I'd love to see him try that. He's a hard-headed son of a bitch, Everett. Excuse me. All right, well, thanks, Jack. What happened? Time. Something took down two cattle. In the park? No, outside of it. The wolves can't really read that sign that says you're now leaving Yellowstone. Uh, quick coming out here once the damage has been done, but awful slow doing anything to prevent it. Great to see you too, Lewis. Where are the carcasses? Each one of those animals is worth $1,500, and you can't count the damage it does to the other stock. They're losing weight because they're running around all night and being chased by wolves. Are you talking to me right now? Are you still conducting an interview with the reporter? Because I'm just looking for the carcasses. Y'all never want to hear about the damage your predators do. Well, first is my cattle. Next thing, They'll be snatching kids out of people's backyards. When are you gonna learn to separate fact from fiction, Lewis? Anytime you want me to come down here and educate you about what we're doing, I'm ready. But till then, if you're just gonna stand there and be ignorant, tell me you don't want wolves in the park, I'm gonna just tell you it's too damn bad. Yeah, Zoe will take you to the west pasture. It's that way. Thank you. We're gonna have him delisted, Everett. I'm gonna be first in line to get my license. First one. Thanks so much for your help. What does he mean, delisted? It means he wants the wolves taken off the endangered species list. So? So if they're not on the list, they can be hunted. There's the first one. Anyone see the wolf? No one was out here. We can't afford to have people out here 24 hours a day. It's been a tough season, huh? Yeah. You remember Cody? Sure I do. Dad had to let him go. He came back three times asking for his job back. We've only got Mel and JD still working here full time now, because they've been here the longest. But Mom says, of course, that doesn't mean they work the hardest. See these teeth marks back here? That's probably where they brought them down. The flesh ripped towards the back. Yeah, you can't you can see these holes right here. What are you thinking about? I'm 
thinking if we don't find a way to keep these wolves away from the livestock, we are going to have some serious trouble on our hands. I mean, the numbers don't matter. Everybody's struggling right now. We can compensate him for his loss, but I don't think that's going to make much difference. Why, what are you thinking about? She's pretty, isn't she? <laughs> huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> Hey, here's a mortality signal. Oh, man, that's the second one he's dumped. I'm sure he had some help. Yeah, it looks like it. No sense in calling the same guy again. Let's fix it up and see if we can put it on another animal. How'd it go out there? Any ideas? No, looks like it might be time for another stakeout. Lewis is about ready to blow. What about Carrera? I need him through Thursday, but he can start over the weekend. Start what? Sitting out. Let's see if we can pick up the signal for whoever's stalking Miguel's cattle. Well, I could do it. You want to spend 24 hours a day sitting in a truck in a cow pasture? Am I missing something? Guy likes wolves. Can't fault him for that. <laughs> OK. Thanks, Jillian. We'll talk to you later. Yeah. Bye, Julian. Bye. Hope you brought your shotgun. Hey. Hey. Mom thought you might want some coffee. Thanks. You want some? Anything? What's your horse's name? Yoda. 
he was steady even as a foal. <laughs> What's your truck's name? Uh, I'm not sure it has one. I thought all men named their trucks. <laughs> That's not my truck. Well, I wouldn't ride another man's horse without asking its name. Well, I sure wouldn't name it if I forgot to ask. <laughs> I gotta go. You staying on tonight? Yep. I'll bring you out some dinner. What's for dinner? Wolf burgers. Watch this one, she kicks. <laughs> what do they do with the wolves that kill your cattle? Sometimes they trap them. And then what? In the park, I guess they euthanize the bears that attack humans. Cows aren't humans. Neither are wolves. Yeah, I didn't say they were. Well, you don't seem to think they're much like cows either. What happened to your head? Uh, I got in an accident. It's a car accident. arms? <laughs> Cigarettes. It's a game we used to play. You better get back out there. Yeah, yeah, I probably should. Do you still play it? That game? No. Can we go flying? Uh, not today. I'm giving a talk. Can we go after? I think it's going to be too late by then. What's going on, Owen? What happens to the wolves that kill the cattle? Well, we try to rehabilitate them. And if it doesn't work? Uh, well, we remove them from the population. Right, you kill them. It's not that simple, Owen. Wolves are social creatures. The pack learns from the individual. If you get one wolf with a taste for cattle, you can have a serious problem on your hands. I get it. One bad apple spoils the barrel. More or less. The wolf stalking McGill's cattle is a druid wolf. Sometimes that behavior changes on its own. 
Right. I'll get someone out there and see if we can't scare them off. Hope you're delivering coffee. Hey, uh, anyone going out today? Sure, what's on your mind? I want to know if anyone spots Druid Wolf 461M. Sounds easy enough. All right, thanks, because it's important. I can tell. Stone in my days, all serpents on the top, tartness in my chest, rest and subsides in one dull dawn with a hum that split its length. Does my name sting your tongue? Now does it bay? Found him? They said it's a heavy forest area, pretty far out by the park border. Couldn't see him from the air, but if you hike out there, you might have better luck. Thanks a lot, Jack. You got it. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Everything okay? Yep. He had pups. What? I found him. He had a new mate, and they had pups. They were here, right on the border, with a den site on this hill. Who was the mate? I don't know. I know she didn't have a collar on. Could have been from any of the surrounding packs. How many pups were there? Five. Looks like we have a new pack. <laughs> Come here, I want to show you something. So, I entered your data with the data collected from our other scientists, and look what we got. Every one of these dots represents an observed location of the pack, and when you put them all together, you get a complete look at each pack's territory. Nice work. Let's add your pack now. This is one right here. Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Date it. There we go. And there you are. How's it feel? <laughs> Feels pretty good. 
Good work. I heard there's a new pack in the park. You ought to ask Owen about that. He found them. Jack found them. I just hiked out there. Who is it? It's Wolf 461 from the Druid Peak Pack and a mystery female. I'm still figuring out where she came from. Molly's pack? And that's what I was thinking, but all the Molly's females are accounted for. I'm thinking maybe she came from outside the park. Yeah, we had another pack start out that way. 2008. Yeah, a Silver Lake pack. I'm thinking it's the same thing. You've done your homework. Good man. You need my jacket, buddy? Ah, oh, I'll get my own. Hello? Owen, is that you? Hi, Mom. God, it's good to hear your voice. How is everything going out there? It's good. You're not getting into any trouble? Nope. Owen, I miss you. I want you to come back. Who is it? Owen. Hello? Hello? Hey, Lane. How are you? You forgot your jacket, Owen. There you go. I really feel the weather starting to change. It's going to be fall before you know it. School's going to be starting. I know. You know, she's right about you having to go to school. I know. Why did you leave? When I met your mom, I was 30 and she was 23 and she was the most vibrant person I'd ever met. Pretty much swept me off my feet. We were foolish and reckless and she got pregnant. She wanted to get married. But I'd never told her I'd been married before. I got married right out of college and had a baby boy a couple years after that. We got a house in Maine near Acadia National Park. And I used to take my son to watch the seals pull themselves up on the rocks there. We had a nice life. of the night, I woke up with a throbbing headache and my chest felt like it was about to cave in. The whole house smelled like gas. I went to get help, but it was too late. I lost them both. I lost my wife and my son. Mom told me she was pregnant with you. I just panicked. I was so scared.
What's going on? Three, two, one. Wolf Honey licenses went on sale today in Wyoming, Montana, Michigan, and Idaho. This follows a decision by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to delist the gray wolf population in these states. Secretary of the Interior Ken Salazar said today, and I quote, the recovery of the gray wolf population throughout significant portions of its historic range is one of the great success stories of the Endangered Species Act. But for those that oppose the delisting, they fear officials in Washington are far more concerned about the cattle vote than the survival of this very fragile species. Meanwhile, only 250 right Zoe. licenses will be granted this season. Zoe. And avid hunters Zoe, are on. lining up for their chance to What are you doing here? Same thing as everyone else. Come with me. Come with you where? Come out in the field with me. I Just can't. one day. I Just can't. one day. I help out at the ranch. I can't. One night then. Zoe, that's enough now. Come on. I gotta go. I'm coming by at 4. 4 a.m. I'll see you there. Thanks. Two licenses. Two? One's for my son. How about five hundred dollars? Please fill in your name at the bottom and read the restrictions on the back. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get your hands off him. Hey, what's going on here? Why are you ripping up your licenses? 248. I'm sorry? Only 248 people will be hunting wolves this year. Excuse me. up anything within three miles. Amazing. I've never seen a hole in the grass before. Keep looking. <gasps> Where's the rest of the path? It's a new breeding pair. It's unusual, but those pups will be their pack.
zone. Jeez, I gotta go. Dad, do you think people can change? What do you mean? I mean, do you think bad people can become good people? Well, if you're talking about Zoe, I don't think she's a bad person. I think she just comes from a different family. No, I was talking about myself. I just left them there. At least you went off and tried to find help for your wife and kid, and... I just took off. I don't think there are good people or bad people, Owen. It's just the choices you make. Make different choices. Oh, uh, yeah, help my dad. We're trying to get twice as many coordinates as last year. Look at you. Hey, I picked up your wolf outside of the park today. I was down in Ashton on a run, and I caught a signal on the way back. Huh, where? Well, just a couple miles outside of the park. What's he doing out there? Good question. He's not exactly a conventional spirit, though, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Dad. Hey, Dad. Can I go up with you tomorrow? summer. What happened to fall? You're looking at it. Looks like it's letting up though. It's just a little dusting.
Wagner 1 to Wagner 2, come in Wagner 2. Copy. Go for Wagner 2. Three o'clock. Over here. Beautiful, aren't they? Amazing. Well, we're at the border now. You got anything? No. All right, we'll go a little further. We can't burn too much fuel out here. We got to turn back, Owen. Copy. Dad. What do you got? Mortality signal. You see anything? No. Do you? Dad, I got him. Oh, Dad, you gotta put it down. I can't do anything. Now we gotta go down, Dad. You gotta let me out right now. You gotta let me out, Dad. Oh, when I want to take that. Dad, let me out. Danny, can you put us down in that field right there? Too close to him, Owen. If he's hurt, he could go after you. I'm gonna kill them, Dad. I'm gonna fucking kill them. Come here. Oh, Dad. Come here. Listen, Owen, I know you're angry. I'm angry, too. I saw something in you today that I didn't see when you first got here. That animal taught you something. You should try to hold on to that.
trying to fix it. Why don't you just buy another one? They're expensive. How much? About seven hundred dollars. If they were cheap, everyone would have one. Can I borrow your car? Yeah, the keys are in the ignition. Where are you going? Scare me, buddy. What's up? Okay. What if we give them radio receivers? Just slow down, take a breath. Give who what? The ranchers. What if what if we give them radio receivers so they'll know when the wolves are nearby and they'll be able to go outside and protect the cattle? Those things are really expensive, Owen. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, we could get the money. How? I don't know. I'll find it. And we know which ranchers need them first. We can look at the map we made and see which packs are closest to the park borders and where. That could work. It's a good idea. You think so? Yeah, let's do it. Great job. All right, Dad, come here. What do you got? It's still rough, but people will be able to click here if they want to donate. How do you know how to do that? Everybody knows. Not everybody. Here, let me see. Yeah, go for it. So click, scroll down. Yep. Click right there. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, it's not linked up right now, but I mean, you can, like, if you if you put your credit card information there, it wouldn't do anything right now, but it's there, essentially. Nice. Good morning. Better get dressed. These horses aren't going to ride themselves. <laughs> okay. You know what that is, right? Yeah, it's Druid Peak. Yep. You know, what's interesting is that when the wolves first came back to Yellowstone, the moose and the elk didn't know how to handle it because they were so used to the park being without predators. But sure enough, within about a year, their behavior started to change and they began to move around more. And because they were moving around more, they stopped grazing in the same spot all season. Lo and behold, cottonwoods, aspen, and willows started to sprout up in places where there hadn't been trees before. Those willows upstream weren't even there, and the beavers couldn't build their dams without them. And now we got 11 new beaver colonies in the park, and their dams have created ponds for more fish and frogs and insects. Aspens weren't even here 10 years ago. Those birds you hear had nowhere to nest, so you wouldn't have heard them. Every month we learn about a small change. Something new in one population can affect another. But it all comes back to this. We're all connected in ways we may not even perceive, all of us.
really felt at home anywhere but here. I guess some people need wild places more than others. I don't know where you feel like your home is own, but you'd like to stay here with me. I'd like that a lot. Where would I go to school? Gardner. You know, it's a drive, but you're used to early mornings. But, you know, if you want to go home, we can make that happen. Dad, I want to stay here. But, I, you know, I have to go home first. I have to. Hey, kid. What happened to the dog? I don't know. Go away. Is it your dog? No, it was my daddy's dog, but I used to feed it sometimes. <laughs> How'd it get away? Promise not to do. Yeah, I promise. I let it go. It's a good man. Promise not to tell? Yeah, I promise. Cross my heart. some fresh water for you. Can I help you? This is Corson. It's me. Oh, and my God, I didn't recognize you. I've been away. Wyoming, so I've heard. I want to see that back. I'm really sorry about what happened. When I woke up, I was in the woods and I panicked. I was thinking about how much trouble I would get into. I was thinking about myself. And I should have been thinking about Matt. You know, I'm, I'm sorry for bothering you. I just, I wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Mm. I hope good things happen to you, though. I hope you lead a good life. I'm trying to. Okay. I'll keep you both in my prayers. Thank you.
There you go, Kev. What's that? Are you sure you don't need bed sheets? I don't need bed sheets. You want a ride? I'm okay. You be careful out there. I will. I love you. I know. All right. You can go. Now, hold on a minute. Here. I know it's not much, but I ought to buy one of those transmitters. Thank you. All right, for those of you still milling around the door, find a seat, please. Welcome to Senior Chemistry. I have a present for you. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the matter of sciences. What is that? Or the branch of natural sciences dealing with the compositions of substances and their properties and reactions. Mr. Wagner, really? On the first day? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, that's uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, never mind, he says, but uh, let's talk about chemistry a little more, folks, okay? We gotta have chemistry in our bodies. Hey, how did it go? It was good. How you doing? Good. All right, I'll uh, be back for dinner. Let's watch the phenomenon rise out of the darkness now. Within the light, she is my storm and heroine. An old machine that's abandoned by the ancient races stand. I hear them humming down below in hollow earth. Oh, hell, I guess I know no why. Just for now, I let the spring and storm return. I left my heart to the wild thunder coming. I live until the call. And I plan to be forgotten when I'm gone. It's I'll be leaving in the fall. Oh. Out in the glade, just by the giant tree, just to be closer where my spirits pull away. I left a nervous little boy out on the trail today. He's just a mortal to the shouting cavalcade. I left my heart to the wild thunder coming. I live until the call, and I plan to be forgotten when I'm gone. I've been leaving in the fall oh. Let's open up the windows Have Satan departing now And we'll be even when the blues fall down like Hell, I don't even care no more about Cadejo now. If he's a white one or a black one on the tray. I left my heart to the wild hunt of coming. I live until the call. And I plan to be forgotten when I'm gone. Yes, I'll be leaving in the fall. Yes, 
Where we 